Hello everybody and welcome to this session about Wipro LE National Talent Hunt. Finally Wipro has made the announcement and so we're going to discuss today how you can go ahead and register what are some of the important uh, topics that you should expect in Wipro and uh, generally what's the process going to be like. So uh, with, before I go ahead a quick reminder to all of you to subscribe to this channel so that you get updates not only about Wipro but all of the upcoming hiring opportunities and like this video so more people can come to know about it. Um, so coming to Wipro, Wipro finally made the announcement on when they are going to do it and while we were expecting it to be earlier, it is actually much later, it's going to be in 2021. Um, you can also go through this announcement, it's at careers.wipro.com slash elite, careers.wipro.com slash elite is where you will find this. And uh, the interesting thing to note is that the registration is not yet open. They've just made the announcement, but the registration has not been open. There is no registration link. If anybody send you something like that right now, as of 24th November 2020, then that's not the correct link. Generally, the link will come out later. And so let's let's wait till the link comes out to actually go ahead and register. But um, as you can see here, they have given you other important things. All of your questions are actually going to be answered here. And uh, really, this is the last opportunity for all 2021 graduates to actually get hired in an MNC. I don't think any other MNC is doing this national qualifier uh, as such. So, you know, um, make the most use of this opportunity. Uh, does not mean that you can't get a job if you don't get through Wipro. Uh, Edist itself has so many courses for you uh, for you to take up that we also make referrals to companies. Um, you can reach out to us on the courses in the description below. We have listed all of our courses in the description below. But anyways, coming back to Wipro. Um, so in Wipro, the, these are the standard um, your eligibility criteria. You can go through them if you are thinking, is your percentage enough? The percentage is given here, 65% or CGPA equivalent. Um, 60% uh, or above in 10th standard, in 12th standard and so on. Uh, B, B Tech, 5 years integrated M Tech, CS, IT and circuital branches. Uh, this brings us a question, can mechanical branches actually apply, can electrical branches apply? Uh, not yet given over here in that sense, uh, we will have to wait. When the registration link comes in, they will give you the actual uh, details about that as well. But yeah, I mean, uh, I at least I believe that they should be eligible to apply. I don't think they shouldn't be, but we'll wait for the official confirmation for them, right? So the designation is only a project engineer, uh, not like last year where they had given the turbo engineer possibility. Maybe they've mentioned it below as well. Uh, but yeah, they've not really mentioned anything about turbo engineer possibility as yet. This will come up later on. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, uh, Wipro also has a 6 lakhs per annum package. This is a 3.5 lakhs per annum, which is a project engineer. They have something called a turbo engineer, which is a 6 lakhs per annum package. And in that you have to first finish Wipro Elite. And then after you finish Wipro Elite, you will be given another exam to do. Uh, they have not yet released that at this point. So, but probably they'll be announced it at, uh, you know, sometime. Okay. Uh, and then this is just the usual, right? Uh, the What ed education gaps and so on. So you can go through that. Now, this is the part that's interesting to all of us. That is what's actually going to be the pattern of the test. So just like last year, we have only three pa three sections, aptitude, written and online programming test. So there is like those, your usual uh, numerical, logical, verbal, that uh, aspect, and as well as written communication, 20 minutes written communication. This you can expect it to be on the, the most, uh, you know, asked questions like, uh, there are like you can uh, look up like most asked essay questions that are there so you can go ahead and check those out uh, you know uh, for example write an essay about let's say Swachh Bharat or something right so those are the kind of essays that you can think about over there then there will be an online programming test where you'll be given two programs for coding and uh, here also to answer your doubts this java c c++ or python and generally speaking uh, wipro elite is done by uh, not by wipro themselves but they take up um, a an assessment person so they take up an assessment engine like an amcat like a cocube a similar assessment engine they take up generally it's amcat they take up that and so their compiler are very reliable um, i know a lot of you faced issues in uh, infosys but at especially you faced issues in uh, uh, tcs nqt you don't uh, i don't think you'll probably face those issues here because they're very professional compilers so i don't think that should happen the major thing that does for what we need to know is that the test is between 11th january to 17th january giving you ample time um, I mean, all of the students who are graduating in 2021 anyways have been preparing since a long time for all of these things. Uh, but you know, you've got even one more further month. So you've got the entire December. If you, I don't know when you're watching this, but you know, now we are in November. Uh, we have the entire December to actually go and prepare and really trust me, guys, this is a golden opportunity. Take this opportunity. Don't let it go to waste. Right. Uh, don't think that you're, you're, you know, take it out later and so on. Um, 
so yeah uh, don't don't wait so long just try, go ahead and you know uh, apply right now uh, whenever you get the application date and start preparing right away for this okay now okay they've given us uh, we have the aptitude you have the written communication test you have the online programming test great we have all of that um but what else like i mean what should we expect inside this so they've not given us exactly the breakup of the logical quants and english uh, nor have they given us uh, any other details like you know how many questions will be in each what are the topics so for this we can rely on last year's ses- last year's papers to understand a little bit more one thing we have is, is that this duration is 48 minutes last year i believe it was a little bit higher than this it was roughly around 60 minutes so that's what we had last year so again just by going by that let's let's look at last year's thing uh, your essay writing and coding is confirmed this time around uh, that you'll have one essay and two coding questions for sure uh, you have that given but when it comes to verbal reasoning and numerical this they have not given i repeat this they have not given how many are there in each all they've given is that the duration is 48 minutes um uh, they have only given the duration they have not given anything else and what the 22 14 and 16 that you see for verbal reasoning and numerical respectively are taken up from last year that is from the wipro elite national talent hunt 2019 or 2020 conducted in 2019 basically uh, so we've taken that and we have assumed that it would be the case obviously it's going to change a little bit hence i've said tentative please take this as tentatively don't take this as the thing but you can almost sort of see that you know you'll have more uh, in verbal a little bit in reasoning and numerical this is the general distribution should mentally prepare yourself for 15 plus questions in each of them that's what you should mentally prepare yourself all your time management etc should be that at least a 15 questions i should be able to do for each of them within a certain time period so you know just to help you out in preparation this is what uh, i thought you guys should all see um coming to you know the syllabus uh, that what you can expect in all of them well in aptitude the syllabus that generally from last uh, time around what we saw was the syllabus is pretty much like straight it's not straight forward it's uh, common across so many of these national talent hunts that you have things like antonyms synonyms reading comprehensions para jumbles like these are all of the things for verbal uh, when it comes to logical and quants again similar stuff uh, like series arrangements blood relations clocks calendars coding decoding directions data interpretation blood relations all of this in logical in quants you'll have percentages ratios profit loss averages mixtures uh, time work speed distance probability permutations and combinations so all all topics basically that uh, we all know about we've all seen in fact if you're prepared for tcs nqt then you've already prepared for many of these topics a couple of topics are new here and there um, but overall you know pretty much uh, uh, the standard set of topics that are there for uh, any uh, aptitude preparation for any to- any uh, questions that you go out there any national qualifier that you go out there one thing you could expect is that probably this is going to be uh, again held on a a uh, platform like amcat we are expecting it to be on amcat not confirmed yet if that's the case if you are able to get previously asked questions or similar questions go ahead and practice those that would be really great for, great for all of you um coming to programming questions from our experience what we observed was generally speaking so one is they are available in c c++ python and java uh, that's a really really good thing and uh, you can choose python or java or c c++ up to you my suggestion would be either c++ or java or python because if you get an op related question in c you won't be able to really do it um but yeah if you are not really good in any programming language pick up python i would suggest uh, python will help you actually learn uh, really quickly because the syntax is easier to pick up but apart from that any programming language should do if you are not good in any programming language like you have zero knowledge in any of this programming knowledge programming languages I suggest that you go ahead and check out the courses on Edist. We have a bunch of courses also on the description below. We have an introductory Java course, we have an introductory Python course where even if you have zero knowledge on coding, we will help you from there to become a good coder. Um obviously it will take a little bit more than a month, so uh have some patience there. But apart from that, apart from the languages, the questions that you can expect will be from loops and patterns, arrays, strings. Uh, we found a ton of questions on loops and patterns by the way that most of the students said that loops and patterns is something they ask a lot um and arrays and strings they ask a little bit of different questions you won't find the same question that you found uh let's say for nqt or all of that it's a little bit different uh it's not the same thing so in that sense uh it's a little bit more difficult especially as compared to tcs this is going to be a little bit more difficult not as difficult as tcs code vita uh, but definitely more difficult than national qualifier test maybe the most difficult question you get here maybe at the level of the first question of tcs code vita maybe uh, but it's somewhere in between is is what i want to uh, tell you guys so loops and patterns the first question you can almost for sure expected either to be loops and patterns or arrays one of them um the next one could be strings tax queues linked lists 
or some very basic greedy algorithms uh, again if you saw that question and you solved it you wouldn't even know it's greedy algorithms but i'm just mentioning that it is there so you know stacks use linked list you'll get certain questions like implement a stack implement a queue or given a linked list reverse the linked list very standard questions of linked list nothing new in linked list they're not going to tell you to invent an algorithm obviously it's going to be fairly standard questions that you can see so th that's what you should know and you should know how to implement it in your language you don't need to know to implement it in c plus plus or c or java or python you only need to know it in your language so if you know it in java you don't need to care about the other languages so stick to one language become very good at that particular language and you can go ahead and you know uh prepare for all of these um if you want to prepare for this then uh, definitely you can go up and s sign up for the edist uh, wipro course we have a course specifically made for this you can check it out here on this link let me just open up that thing and show you where uh, what all you can get in that course so when you click the link you will actually open up on this page which shows the edist uh, wipro course and you have one free module uh, the good part about this one free module is we actually have one mock test as per the pattern of Wipro that is available to you that you can go ahead and actually practice. Uh, if nothing, go ahead and actually do that one free mock test and at least understand your level. Are you there? Are you not there? Once I click this, uh, this is the page that will open up for me. If I go and click the first thing, Intro to Wipro Elite NTH. Uh, I have an introduction. I also have a Wipro mock test. Uh, this has a coding question, a solution to the coding question, another coding question, uh, the solution also available for that. Then you have, uh, you know, Wipro, the analytical and verbal. Uh, these are the two, um, you know, so this has numerical plus logical in it and this has only verbal in it. And this is one more new uh, coding question that's available. Go ahead and try out these uh, questions because these are free available one mock test pattern available to you. All of the questions of the mock test available to you uh, don't, you know, uh, don't at least go ahead uh, to the Wipro test without at least attending the free mock test uh, get that one and if you know if you find that you're not really up to the mark yet go ahead and start practicing on the edis platform all of the concepts and the questions that i've talked to you about are already covered we have tutorials on all of them and we have videos uh, as well as uh, reading tutorials on them as well as the solution is available for all of them so you can you know go ahead and sign up uh, over here and make use of all of these things obviously for me it's unlocked but for you it's going to be locked uh, all these things uh, very specifically what uh, and you can unlock them by paying is what I meant to say very specifically what you can expect in the course is basically um, you know previously asked questions what do I mean by this so Wipro this year has actually gone to campuses as well as now they're you know doing the national talent hunt so when it's gone to campuses we have actually gone back to students and asked them what was the level of the questions and based on their experiences we have drafted the problem statements and we have uh, you know created some questions so the questions that you have on the edis platform are very similar to the ones you can expect in the wipro test so go ahead sign up make the full use of it you will also get the solutions for all of these questions as well you can click on this link or you can also click on the link in the description below uh, one mock test is free you'll also get uh, five mock tests which are paid um, there are more than 40 tutorials on each of these topics and um, solutions to all the qu questions are there obviously we have support on forums as well as mentors are there to help you solve any coding questions that you have as well so that's uh, also there so yeah everybody a uh, wipro elite national talent hunt is here uh, if you want to check out some of the previously asked questions uh, and their tutorials uh, on the edist platform you can check out we've covered two very recently uh, check description for the links but uh, we covered one coding question which is colony of eight cells little bit tricky you can expect it to be the second question in the programming test as well as when you go for um, the previous one Wipro Elite National Talent uh, some latest questions I covered about two three latest questions over there so you can you can go ahead and check that both of them the link is in the description below uh, or you can just search for edist on YouTube and you will find them as well so I hope this session has been useful to all of you for all uh, just reiterating everybody just go to the Wipro website and all of your questions about eligibility about uh, which branch is eligible which year is eligible and so on to the best of our knowledge is available there anybody telling you otherwise uh, please make sure you look at the Wipro uh, page and not anything else that is the best place to get all of your details from. So go ahead and look at that for 2021 graduates. This is a brilliant opportunity. Don't lose this out. But also uh, it's not your only opportunity. If you want to learn up a skill and get reference to other companies, reach out to us on some of our other courses, which are also mentioned in the description below. Uh, thanks all for being online. Subscribe to this channel. We are going to cover some more Wipro tutorials as well pretty soon. Thank you so much for coming in and yeah, I'll see you all next time. Thank you.